In this video we're going to have a look at areas of triangles. So here we have a non-right angle triangle with a height of h and what we're going to do is be able to work out a general rule for finding the area of a triangle. So just like our previous sections let's label our corners a, b and c and then our opposite sides uh, with the corresponding angles. So we've got a, uh, b down here and c over here. Alright, generally speaking we know that an area of a triangle is half base times height and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right angle triangle out uh, of the whole triangle. So if I redraw it down here, we've got a right angle, we've got our height, we've got C as our angle and we've got A as the side for the hypotenuse. Now if I was generally speaking working this out using our Sokotoa sine cos and tan ratios uh, what I could have is an opposite side and the hypotenuse so if I want to work out what the height is uh, I would be using sine of theta opposite over hypotenuse so I would have sine of C, depending on what angle C is. I've got little h over A. And then if I just multiply by A, I'll have A times sine C equals the height. Alright, so for any non-right angle triangle, I can describe the height as whatever side A is times sine of that angle uh, in the corner here for C. So going back to our half base times height, I can say the area of a triangle that doesn't necessarily now have to be a right angle triangle would be half times the base times the height, and I know the height is A times sine of C. Which brings us to um, the area of uh, our triangle. So I can use this formula to find out the area uh, of pretty much any triangle that's given. Um, because I don't need to know the, uh, essentially I don't need to know what the height is. Okay, because how, the height in here is classified by this A times sine of C. So let's have a look at an example. So example 14. I've got a non-right angle triangle. We've got 9 for the base. We've got 10 over here and our angle between it is 29 degrees. Now, normally we wouldn't be able to work this out unless we worked out the height first, but now we have this nice little formula that we can use to work out the area of the triangle. So, if we label our angle of C, we've got A and we've got B. So, little c, little a, little b. So, very important we jot down the right letters. So again, like this cosine rule, use C for your angle. And then we've got our area is half times B times A times sine of C. So we'd have half times 9 times 10 times sine of 29. And if we work that out, we should get about 21 Point eight centimeters squared. And we'll just practice another example. So we'll call this part B. Alright, so similarly just go angle C side C, 
go A over here, B over here, so A and B. So our area, half B times A times sine of C, half times, so this will be 3.4 times 1.8 times sine of 119. Now just notice that you can swap the A's and B's around, so if you labelled that as A and that as B, it doesn't really matter, as long as you get the angle right. Um, again, if we put that in your calculator, we'll get 2.7 uh, kilometres squared. Oops, that were meant to be KMs. You can also use the formula to find a side length. So if we find the value of x to two decimal places, providing that we know the area of the triangle, and let's say the area of the triangle was 70 centimetres squared. So similarly, uh, or similar to the past example, first thing is label your diagram. So we've got C as the angle, A and B, little a, little b. Jotting down the formula. And then we've got half times, uh, so we're looking for B, because that's X, so leave that there. We've got A and sine of 93. We know the area is 70, so we can actually say 70 is equal to all of that on the right. All right, now it's just a matter of uh, some backtracking. So first thing I would probably do uh, is multiply everything by two to get rid of this half. So we get 140. And then I would be dividing by 10 to get rid of the 10, uh, which means we'll get rid of one of those zeros. So we have 14 equals x times sine 93, and then finally divide by sine 93. Put that in your calculator and you'll get 14.02.